we're going to talk about how to set up a pressure sensor. Um, so we've hooked up to pump scanner, our blue light is on. We've installed our Lorenz pressure sensor. Now what we need to do, we need to go into installation settings. Now scroll down until you see analog input 1. Click on that and then you've got a drop down menu here. You've got pressure sensor, level sensor or manual speed controller. We want the pressure sensor. Now there's a few different types of um, pressure sensors available. This one that we've installed has a measuring range of 20 bar, which is a total of 200 meters head. Okay. Now we also want to over override TDH. Um, Can I just butt in? With the pressure sensor, I hook it up to the analog analog one inside yeah, the controller. Yeah, inside the controller goes into analog. And they got one. a positive negative wire there? It's, uh, yes, it does. Yeah, red and white. So uh, red yeah. is positive, white is common. Okay, right. Uh, sorry. So override TDH, um, 1,000 um, kilograms. That's just if we're pumping water. If we're pumping oil, that weight measurement would, would be different. So we'd be getting a different reading. But we'll just leave that on 1,000 um, okay. kilograms per a cube of water. So a ton of water equals a cube of water. Click save. Now what we need to do is go into feature settings. Now this option here we can control pump by pressure. Click on analog input one because that's what we wired it up into. Yeah. Now we've got two options pressure on off. Now that works the same way as a normal pressure switch. Um, or constant pressure. Now for this scenario we want pressure on off. We'll click on that. Now <clears throat> our total head pumping up to the tank is 150 meters. So we want the pump to turn off above. Now do you see how I clicked that? You can swap above and below yep. around. So pump off above 150 meters, so 15 bar is normal operating pressure. We want this to cut out just a little bit above normal operating pressure. So we'll say 16 bar or 160 meters. And then we want the pump to turn on once that pressure's been released, a little bit below the normal operating pressure. So um, a little bit above the normal operating pressure. So we need 15.5. So, pump is pumping, normal operating pressure is 15 bar, double acting tank float closes, the pressure rises to 16 bar, it turns off. Now, cattle drink water out of the trough, those floats open back up, the pressure is, is released, the pressure drops down to 15.5 or 150 metres pressure, um, and then the pump switches back on. This timer here is the delay timer so when the pressure drops below 15.5 it'll wait 15 minutes before it turns back on but I can have one minute I can have 60 minutes it's just whatever you want 15 minutes is a good all around uh, and then we click save now if you come back to actual data now do you see we're getting a TDH measurement right now now we're just pumping out on the ground at the moment through a um, hose connector so we don't have much head we're only reading 0.7 meters of head so um, I'll leave this here and I'll go turn the tap off and we'll see what happens okay TDH is going up, 40, 50 metres, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 116, 20, 35, 50, 150, 160 and now it says remote switch pressure, pressure liquid sensor and we've got two red lights and next to the door.
Okay, so pressure rose above 165 meters. So TVH was 165. So it activated a remote switch, which is the liquid level sensor. Now, you notice I've opened the tap and the pump still hasn't turned back on. And we're wondering why. We click on the question mark. controller will automatically restart when the pressure or level, va level value has dropped below or above the set value or after the set timer has expired. So remember we put that 15 minute timer on? Yeah. So the set timer has expired. So this won't turn back on for another 15 minutes. Can we force it to start? We can just reset it by turning it off and then back on. And you see here, we're just pumping back out on the ground now. So we're doing a meters, half a meter's head. Okay. All right, I think I've got that. Thanks, Dale. No worries. That's all right. Andy got that. Got yeah. Any leaks? No. What? What? No.